This seven-story structure is about to undergo the ultimate building inspection, a simulated earthquake. On the largest shake table in the U.S., University of California San Diego researchers reproduce quakes to evaluate safer engineering designs and find new ways to make older buildings stronger. This footage is from the table's very first test back in 2005. The building was subjected to mechanical shakes that copied the ground motions recorded during the 1994 Northridge earthquake that rocked LA. It takes a signal that it has been created artificially or is one that has been recorded from the ground motion anywhere in the world. And then we can reproduce the movement of the ground with extreme fidelity. That means engineers can recreate actual earthquakes. Some of these include the 1989 quake that struck the San Francisco Bay Area, as well as the deadly 1978 earthquake in Tabas, Iran, that measured 7.8 on the Richter scale and lasted three minutes. Basically, the table is like a crash test for buildings, and Restrepo and his colleagues are coming up with new engineering techniques to better help buildings and their occupants survive these head-on collisions with Mother Nature. One design is using interior cables modeled after a push puppet. Those little toys where a segmented cartoon character falls down with the push of a button at the toy's base. Let the button go and the puppet springs back up. The advantage of those things is that these buildings basically dislocate themselves. Of course, the building doesn't collapse like the puppet does, but just moves enough that the rigid steel and concrete of the structure wouldn't bear the entire brunt of the quake's force. And then when the earthquake um, fades off, they just settle back to where they were before. While these engineering feats can help with new buildings, for older or historic structures that need retrofitting, engineers use everything from reinforced concrete casting to advanced composite materials and synthetic fibers. UCSD researchers are sharing data and information with earthquake-prone places all over the world. Keeping these new designs affordable is a major hurdle, and it's not the only one. The biggest challenges that we face in future for earthquake design are for very strong, long-duration earthquakes. And by those we expect, not in California, but perhaps in Washington and Oregon, um, the duration of an earthquake, the effect of duration that is is just ratcheting and on and on and on and on. We know so little that the things that we have developed so far may be okay. We hope they are okay, but we need to test them. For Discovery News, I'm Jorge Rivas.